Hello everybody. Um, well, I've been working on my book uh, for quite a while now, and uh, I just completed the third chapter, um, which I titled The Anti-Messiah and Anti-Torah. And um, it, it was something that I felt like I should put into a video, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I want to read to you from uh, 1 Yohanan or 1 John 4, and um, uh, yeah, I'll just start at verse 1. Uh, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the uh, spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Yeshua HaMashiach has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Ye uh, Yeshua HaMashiach has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is uh, the uh, this is of anti Messiah, which you have heard ha was coming and is now already in the world. Uh, that statement was most likely written down around two thousand years ago, um, give or take a few decades, um, and it is one of the more important things that I think we should be aware of in our world today as well. Um, now, the reason I said that this was stated around 2,000 years ago is to show you he stated this so to people of that day and age. It was, it was the, you know, the modern time for Yohanan. And he, and he says that this anti-Messiah you have heard is coming is now in the world. So it's safe to say that the anti-Messiah has... Uh, the, the more popular term is Antichrist, um, the Antichrist, the spirit of Antichrist. Um, but it's the spirit of anti-Messiah has been in the world at, for at least uh, around 2,000 years and is still in the world today. This is post Yeshua's, uh, you know, uh, his uh, crucifixion and resurrection. So the anti-Messiah is in the world today uh, as of right now. And... So I, I think it's relevant for us to be able to identify what this spirit of anti-Messiah is. Now, the, uh, like I said, in the title of uh, the the third chapter of my book is entitled "The Anti-Messiah and Anti-Torah," and I I, I kind of go into detail about this a bit, and um, I, I make a statement, and I wrote down that basically the the anti-Messiah, this anti-Torah spirit is, could be any person or system on this planet. And here's what I want to explain uh, to you in this video. Um, you know, current events, there, there's a lot of things going on with the media and the news and just a lot of issues going on with politics and the government and whatnot. You know, it, it, it's, it's all very anti-Torah. And what I mean by that is it's basically lawlessness uh, concerning the law or Torah of Yehovah. Uh, uh, El Elyon, you know, the Most High, the, the Almighty Elohim of uh, all creation. His Torah should be counted as the highest principle, uh, the highest of morality, the highest of, um, you know, must do's and don'ts, kind of, you know, in a manner of speaking. It's, it's, the, I, I also explained in the previous chapter to that, that, you know, Yeshua stated that he is the way, the truth, and the life. None come to the Father but by Him. Uh, in Matthew 7, He talks about, you know, there will be people saying, Lord, Lord, I did all these things in Your name. And he, He'll tell them, you know, depart from Me, for I never knew You, You who practice lawlessness. Um, it is very important that we understand just what it is that, what what is the anti-Messiah, what is the anti-Torah. And it's, it's a system, it, it can be any person that practices lawlessness when concerning the uh, Torah. The Torah teaches many things, you know, uh, against uh, lying and murdering and uh, thieving and so on. You know, there's all kinds of things in the Torah. I mean, it's five books worth of uh, principles and morals that we should um, look into as a mirror and see if, you know, the Torah of love that our Creator gave us is a reflection of who we are. But, you know, we can hold it up uh, as a mirror, or even a, a looking glass, so to speak, um, at, you know, the world, the, the, the different ways of the world. You can look at different, um, you know, corporations and 
government systems and new laws being passed, just whatever, and you can hold this up as a looking glass and see if what you see in here is what you're seeing there. And if it's not, then you can identify what this anti-Messiah, anti-Torah is. Uh, it's the spirit of. Now, you know, there's, a, of course, when I was growing up in, you know, Trinitarian Pentecostal Church of God, you know, I, I was taught that the Antichrist was just one person, and he was going to come and rule the world, and, you know, he'd be possessed by Satan, all this kind of stuff. And I'm not saying any of that's, you know, necessarily untrue, but, you know, Scripture is completely right. Uh, Yohanan speaks very on, on point and accurate here when he states that the spirit of anti-Messiah is here now. Um, I explain in my book that Yeshua is the Torah made man. Uh, you know, he says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. That is also true of the Torah. That's why he said that, because he is the Torah. He, he is the very essence. He encapsul uh, encapsulates the very essence of the Torah. He is who the Torah is, uh, made into flesh. Uh, Yohanan 1 uh, talks about this more in detail. Um, he is the word, the, the milah, he's the devarim. He, um, he is the truth. Um, he is the word uh, of Yehovah made into flesh. So he is the way and the truth and the life. He is Mashiach, he is Messiah. So what would an anti-Messiah look like? What would an anti-Torah look like? Anything opposite or in contradiction to? The definition of anti is to be opposed to or against. Um, and you see that much... Well, we can see it more because of uh, TV and internet and things like that, but um, you see it just so rampant in our world today, things that are contrary and contradicting and against and opposed to the Torah of Jehovah and, and the very character of who Yeshua is, uh, you see that all around us. You, you could probably see it in some of your neighbors or some of your co-workers, and, you know, and I'm not trying to teach a message of judgment, you know, don't go telling people they're the Antichrist or anything like that, but, you know, um, it, it's a good principle, I think, so say, you know, elections, you know, what, what you know, a presidential ele uh, electoral, I can't think of the phrase, um, person who's running for president or whatever, you, you, when you go to the polls, who best actually looks like and lives by a close standard of Torah. Um, and I'm not saying you're going to find a perfect person, and by no means are they Messiah. That's not my message here. But um, my point is that, you know, it, it's important to identify what this anti-Messiah and anti-Torah spirit is because it will help you also be more understanding of who you are supposed to be. Uh, it, it was a great study for me, and I, I love the fact that I, I, you know, it's one of my chapters because... I get, I, I, I got, I was able to get into this idea, and, um, you know, and, and I recommend this. It's a very small book. I think it's only five chapters. Yeah, five, uh, five chapters. First John. Read First John, and uh, you'll learn so much about yourself, I think, um, if you look at it in that perspective. And you'll be able to, at the end of it, ask yourself, am I anti-Messiah? Am I anti-Torah? And it's... For me, it was very encouraging. Um, not because I'm perfect, <laughs> but uh, because it gave me more of a foothold of a better direction, uh, a place to go, a, a how-to on, you know, approaching certain issues uh, that I'm confronted with and, uh, you know, lifestyles and, what you know, things I say and do. Because, um, you know, I want to strive not to have the spirit of anti-Messiah. I want to... I want to have the spirit of Elohim. I want to have the Ruach HaKodesh in my life, the spirit of holiness breathing inside of me. And, um, you know, I, I want to, I, I just want to encourage you in that. And uh, uh, it, it'll help, I think. Um, it'll help you to discern, because I think he talks about that in verse 1 to, um, you know, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits. And you certainly can do that. Everyone, you know, I, I meet people who believe that, you know, Jesus was a great man and so on. But, you know, I, I, go, on, I go on to this in my book that just belief isn't enough. You know, the, the, I believe it's Yeshua who said that, uh, or it might have been Paul, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's in my book. Um, they, they say that, um, you know, even the demons believe that uh, the Elohim is one, uh, and rightly so, and they tremble at this. 
but it, 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 it's basically, it's kind of this idea that it just, your belief doesn't matter. It, it matters what you do because Yeshua said, you know, uh, depart from me, I never knew you. You who practice lawlessness. Uh, I think that's synonymous to say that he, he was telling these people, you are anti-Messiah, you are anti-Torah, so depart from me, for I never knew you. Um, I want you to keep that in mind, and uh, keep me in your prayers, please, because uh, just finding the time to sit down and, you know, go over my book and go through it and stuff, literally every single day I'm finding that the, me the message that I have for this book is just so important and relevant for today's believers and how to go through this life um, as, as a believer, as, as a follower of Yeshua. And um, really, if, I hate to put it this way, but, you know, if uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John have their Gospels, uh, that was their message, and if Paul's letters here, if this was their thing that they did for the, the rest of the world, and that this was their legacy, you know, this book is my this is my work. This is my legacy that I want to leave on this earth. Uh, I've got to get this book done, and I've got to get it published. I've got to get this out into the hands of spiritual leaders, uh, uh, congregation, you know, leaders, the congregations themselves, because this isn't just about the leaders. It's about the entire body of Messiah, and it, literally, I, 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 I cannot wait to get this book done, because I believe that what, if I can get this message out, it will change everything. I really believe that. Um, it, it's a powerful message. And, uh, you know, I've never been to college or extracurricular, you know, classes for this kind of stuff. Um, it's just me. And uh, that, that's also a big point that I want to make in that book is, uh, you know, I'm not a scholar. I, I don't, I have never been to cemetery. I don't even have a license to minister. Um, but that doesn't matter. Neither did Peter. And uh, he can, he, he's, dumped the uh, Sanhedrin. He, he he's appeared to be very educated to them. I don't want to look educated. I just I want to get this message out. And I want to encourage you to get the message out too. Shalom.